to One Left Gym. Since we got the Outer Banks model with the Sasquatch package, we got the black wheels with the aluminum trim rings. And like a lot of other Bronco owners, we want to update them to black. In fact, while I've been doing the other simpler mods, my wife keeps asking me when I'm going to change these to black. So I moved this mod up in my timetable to make her happy. If you were to go out and buy the five rings already powder coated from Ford or other aftermarket sources, it would cost you right now around $600 to $700. So I decided to do what a lot of other people are doing and get the existing rings powder coated. Before I can do that, I needed to take off one to bring into my local powder coating shop for a quote. I pulled together the tools I'm going to use for this process. This included a Torx bit set, ratchet wrench with short extension, impact driver with socket adapter, a wire brush, and compressed air for my compressor that's off camera. I've seen a lot of debate on what the right bit is to use for the screws holding the trim rings on, so I'd like to address this first and hopefully put this debate to rest. I put next to each other two similar size bits. The one on the left is a Torx bit, and the one on the right is a Torx Plus bit. You can see how the Torx Plus bit on the right has slightly squared off points compared to the Torx bit. Here's a screw from the trim ring compared to a Torx bit. You can clearly see how the pattern is the same and how well the bit engages the screw. So, to be clear, the size bit you want to use to remove the trim ring screws is a T45 Torx bit. Now that I believe that's been cleared up, I checked Ford's removal instructions, which weren't a lot of help. I used my T45 bit with a ratchet wrench and short extension to loosen all the screws. I've also seen and read about issues removing these screws because of the thread locker Ford uses on them. Because of this, it's been reported that you need to be careful taking them out to not cross-thread them. So I did my best to keep the bit centered on the screws and back them out all far enough by hand to make sure there wasn't any binding. I then went around and used my impact driver to remove them the rest of the way. I was still careful to use it on a very low speed to make sure there wasn't any additional resistance. This worked really well and I had no issues getting them all out cleanly. Here's an example of one of the holes with the thread locker still inside. You can see it's still in the threads and quite a bit of it fragmented during removal. Just to be proactive, I went ahead and blew out all the holes. I'll still do this again before I reinstall the finish rings later. If you look closely, you can see the loose thread locker being blown away. I also went over all the screws with a wire brush to knock off any loose thread locker still on them to keep them from getting all jacked up when they are reinstalled. I didn't show it, but I went ahead and removed the rest of the rings using the same process I already outlined. Just an FYI, I had no issue with any of the screws using the method I showed. I will say that the screws came out of the wheels that were all black far easier than the silver ones though. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to see my video about the differences between the wheels. It's just so bizarre. I'm sure the big question you're asking is, what did the powder coating cost? I swear I read that some people were paying like $150. The first quote I got was from a place that didn't want to do the small job, but were willing to do it for $200 if the finish was matte black. My wife wanted gloss black, and so would I. So that was a big nope. I ended up getting them done at another local shop that would take on small jobs. And the total? $350. Ouch. But that was better than $600 plus for new black rings. Unless I could have sold the old ones for more than $250? I don't know what they would have been worth, but whatever. It's done, and they look frickin' fantastic. Since the screw holes have been sitting exposed for a few weeks, I went around and blew them out again just to be safe. But of course, I didn't record that. Trust me, you didn't miss anything. To reinstall the rings, the squared off opening of the ring had to be oriented with the tire's valve stem so you'd have access to it. There's still some thread locker on the screws, so I don't see any need to put anything more on them. And once these are on, we don't intend to take them off again, 
and supposedly they can stay on when the tires need to be replaced. I started them all by hand and then used my impact driver again on a somewhat slow speed trying to seat them in the sequence provided by Ford. I went around with my ratchet wrench to seat them all the way. If you notice, I was completely lost on what the pattern was. I found it was easy to forget exactly where you just were, so I think I ended up going over quite a few screws multiple times checking them. When I was sure I had them all seated, I went around one more time with my torque wrench set to 22 foot-pounds. I then repeated this reinstallation process on the other four wheels, but I made one small change. I used tape with numbers to mark the tightening sequence. I would recommend you do the same thing if you plan on reinstalling these. This makes it so much easier. I'll also put a link to a file with the sequence and the torque specs in the description below. A few things to note. There were only a couple screws that showed some resistance going in, but backing them out and then in again took care of the issue. All the screws seated fine, nothing got cross-threaded. I also noticed that the screws went in super easy on the wheels that were all black, just like they had all come out easy. I kept all the screws in one bag though, so what went back into each wheel was completely random, so it wasn't an issue with the screws from those wheels, if that makes sense. So if you're going to do this process on, and your wheels are all black, then this might be an easier process for you. Or not. Who knows what the hell Ford is doing. It definitely took some time from start to finish and wasn't all that cheap, but I'm really happy with this mod. Definitely worth it in my opinion. But what did my wife think? <laughs> yes, this mod was one she really wanted and was excited about, so no surprise here. What do you think? Do you think the wheels look better before in silver or the new gloss black? Also, have you done this mod? And if so, what was your experience like removing and reinstalling these infamous thread lock screws? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, see you later. Yeah.